where no listener is ever left behind. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Talk Show. I'm your host, Sherry Marie Roverosa, here on KCAA Broadcasting Network. We are affiliated with CNBC and NBC News and Sports, where we cover over 5 million households in greater Los Angeles. If you've missed our previous shows, you can watch us on our TV streaming channels distributions on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and the Android app. Just subscribe to the Building Solid Foundations channel. Hello, friends. I'm the fashion host for the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. My name again is Sherry Marie Roby Rosa. I'm a life and fitness coach, an author and speaker, a fashion designer and stylist, and an interior designer. And I'm the mother of 12 children. Yes, you heard that right, 12 children. I'm also the CEO of Mommy Majesty Fitness, where I love to coach women through my signature program that I created and used after each of my 12 pregnancies to lose 60 to 80 pounds and to get my hourglass shape back 12 times. It's my heart's desire to empower women to show up as the most beautifully fit, stylish, confident version of themselves starting from the inside out so they can achieve all their dreams and goals in this life. If you'd like more information on how to work with me, you can reach me at sherrymarie.life. That's sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y, Marie, M-A-R-I-E, dot life, L-I-F-E. Well, it's so good to be back here with all of you again to dive into one of my favorite topics, the world of fashion. So the last three episodes, we have been discussing our series, How to Create Your Personal Style Portrait. And today we are going to talk about part four. So in the last episode, uh, we talked about how to get on Pinterest and to pick out pictures that aligned with our style and to put together some outfits so that we would have a list when we go shopping and so that we would know exactly what to buy to align with our personal style that we've created. If you've missed that last week or the episodes before, be sure to go back and watch that because I am walking you through exactly how to create your own personal style so that you can show up and look the beautiful you that you would like to. Okay, so now that we have our Pinterest board set up, and we have the look and the style that we want. Um, then now we're going to go through our closet and we're going to go through our drawers and we're going to go through all of our clothes. We're going to pick the ones that align with our new style and we're going to get rid of all the rest. And we have to be really ruthless in this process so that we thin out our closet and our clothes and really thinning out our lives. And we really want to focus on this new style that we have created together and step into the new image that you are wanting to step into. So we want to remember that we're creating a stylish wardrobe for the body that we have right now um, and for the weight that we are right now. So we're choosing to love how we look now. So anything that doesn't fit us right now is something that we need to get rid of. Um, and anything that doesn't align with our new style that we've created, we want to get rid of also. So you can make a list, too, of the things that might be missing, the little pieces that you need to fill in and add that to your shopping list as well as you're going through. Now your shopping is going to be so much easier because you're going to know the look and the feel that you want from the Pinterest boards and from going through all of your clothes uh, and how you want to put those all together. But the next step before you go shopping is to prepare your closet. So remember in life that your surroundings represent your mind. So if your surroundings are unorganized and cluttered, then your mind probably is too. And I know in my life, when my life gets very, very busy and my surroundings get 
uh, cluttered and unorganized, it's a sign that my life is too. And I need to stop and try to organize it and thin things out if possible. So we want to look at our closet and we want to say, what does our closet say about us? Is your closet full, but yet there's nothing to wear? Possibly it's saying that you haven't gotten to know yourself or what you want to communicate to the world with your style. That's why it's so important to go through the process of creating your personal style portrait. Um, are there things in your closet that are from your past that you really don't wear anymore and won't be wearing in your future, but you're having trouble letting go of those? That could be saying that you're, you're still trying to live in the past and that you need to let go and embrace the future and the future you. We want to look forward to the future. Um, also, you may have lots of beautiful clothes, but you're not wearing them because you're waiting for your dream life to start. And a lot of times women will get in the rut of that and they're waiting for certain things to happen before they decide to dress up beautiful and stylish. And really, in order for that life to start coming true, you need to step into uh, that future you by dressing in your new style. Just go ahead and take the plunge and start doing it as often as possible, if not on a daily basis. Um, is there nothing in your closet that actually fits you? That could be saying that you are waiting until you lose weight or um, get in shape or something like that to wear the clothes in your closet. And really what that is, is that's punishing yourself um, by not allowing yourself to dress your body right now to be beautiful and stylish at whatever weight and whatever size you are. And really um, that kind of negative actions of punishing yourself until then is never going to pre produce, produce a positive result in your life. Um, that will just make you feel bad about yourself because you can't wear those pretty clothes yet and which can cause you to overeat because of those emotions and gain even more weight. So it would be much better to go ahead and dress the size you are now, to look beautiful and stylish and to love who you are now. And those positive feelings will actually promote uh, losing weight and promote you becoming who you want to be. Negative actions and negative feelings never brought about a positive result. So if your closet is stuffed and there's so much in there, that's also a sign that you could be having a scarcity mindset. And scarcity mindset is always motivated by fear. So we, we don't want our life and our actions to be motivated by fear. And so that would be the fear of, I'm holding on to everything because I'm afraid I won't be able to get the things that I need in the future. And that's living by fear. So we want to um, embrace an abundant mindset. An abundant mindset says that there's enough for everyone and that if I need something in the future, I will be able to get it. And we want to always live in an abundant mindset. So what self-image do you want your closet to reflect back to you? Once we get it all redone and beautiful, what do you want it to say? You want it to say, I am abundant. I am confident. I love my body that God gave me right now. I love being me, who I am as a person. Um, I love... Uh, living a fully and a full life that God gave me now and I want to live it to the fullest and I let go of things that don't align with my style or with the size that I'm at right now so our ultimate goal is to have a closet that brings joy when you walk into it and that makes your life easier if you walk into your closet and you're overwhelmed by too many things that don't go together, you don't know where to start, or none of it fits, which makes you feel bad about your weight, um, and we want a closet that you walk in and you just have joy. There's these beautiful items that are personally picked that fit you perfectly, that you look beautiful in, you look in the mirror, and it makes you feel happy. That's the goal. So. We spend time every day doing three things. 
We spend time eating, so we're preparing food. We spend time living in our homes, so we're hanging out there. And we spend time in our closets getting ready every single day. So it's worth taking the time to create your personal style portrait, and it's worth taking the time to redo your closet to accommodate your new beautiful style. So how do we declutter our closet? First, we're going to remove everything out of there. And you might want to set aside a whole day or a couple days to do this. We're going to deep clean, and you might even want to redecorate it just for the new you. Maybe paint or do some beautiful wallpaper um, so that when you walk in, it's just beautiful to the eyes. Um, then we are going to try on every single piece of clothing that we have, and we're going to thin out. We're going to take each piece through the three-question filter. So these are the questions. Do I wear this item? Would I buy this item again right now? Does my future self wear this item? And then you want you to decide if you're going to keep it, if it aligns with those questions, or are you going to store it away for later? Maybe it's something that you like that maybe for another season. Are you going to donate it, sell it, or does it go to the trash? Also remember, we don't want to keep anything with holes or stains or ripped that you aren't planning to have mended as soon as possible. We want everything in your closet to be beautiful and ready to wear. So then you organize your clothes before you put them back in. And for a beautiful closet that's ready, you want to have everything ironed or steamed when you put that back in. It's also a nice touch if you want to get new hangers, maybe some beautiful hangers um, that makes everything look so nice and uniform together. So if you have too many of the same items also, like say you have five black turtlenecks, you might want to um, narrow them down to one or two. We want to thin out as much as possible and uh, we want to make space for each piece in our wardrobe. So also remember that maintenance is important. So be sure to declutter each season and to maintain your new organized closet and your new self-image. So taking the time to create your beautiful new closet is so worth the time that it takes up front, and it's going to save a ton of time later for you. I hope that you all have enjoyed the four parts to this series, How to Create Your Personal Style Portrait. So please join me again next month as we have another lesson on fashion, and I hope these lessons have been a huge blessing to your life and that your fashion now is starting to take form and starting to represent the woman who you want to be. So now we're going on a commercial break, and we're going to get to hear from our guest, Heidi Fosselli. She is the Reboot Coach, and she has a beautiful new book called From Fight Frightened to Fabulous. So please tune back in. You will not want to miss hearing from her. Fire Up Connect is the most innovative business networking group. Supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections. Hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. Fire Up Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect, helping success stories unfold every day. This is Steve Matley. Join me every Thursday at 3 p.m. right here on KCAA for Building Solid Foundations Radio Talk Show. I spent decades as a professional construction manager, business owner, real estate developer, and a college educator, and I enjoy learning new things from other people. We talk a lot about real estate, business, and finance, but we cover a diverse range of other topics as well. Some of the topics we've discussed in the past few months include real estate investing, leadership, higher education, EDUs, Marketing using technology, multifamily rental property, business strategy, entrepreneurship. You never know who may show up or what they may talk about. So join us right here on KCAA for Building Solid Foundations Radio. 
Real Men of Real Estate. Men of Real Estate radio show here on KCAA. Mortgages can be purchased. All of us want to live in thriving communities. Basically, go to the radio station, KCAARadio.com. You can find us on your dial at 102.3 FM, 1050 AM, as well as 106.5 FM. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Talk Show. I'm your host, Sherry Marie Roberosa, here with our very special guest, Heidi Fasali. Heidi has an amazing bio, and I wanted to tell you all about her. She is a best-selling author. She's an ICF International Coach Federation Certified Personal Coach, an Energy Leadership Index Master Master Practitioner, an American Council on Exercise, Certified Personal Fitness Trainer, and Nutritional Coach. Plus, she's a beauty and image consultant. She works with women who are at midlife crossroads, helping them to get clear on what they want from the next phase of their life. From London to Monaco, LA to St. Tropez, she is the midlife motivator and passionate about helping women to reconnect with their midlife mojo, move forward with clear intentions, purpose, energy, and self-confidence. Well, it's so good to have you here with us today, Heidi. So good to be here. Thank you, Sherry. Yes, welcome. So we would love to hear um, about your background and uh, it sounds very, very exciting, uh, and your life and how you got to this point where you are now. Yes, um, I'm English from a large family in the southwest of England, one of five children. I'm just the one who flew the nest, the only one. The rest of the family are all within 10 miles of each other. Um, became an exchange student when I was just uh, 17 after my exams um, in America. Got that American bug. Um, after that, came back, uh, did some more studying, moved to London, worked for a music management company, which was kind of cool and sexy at the time, um, was a Marlboro girl. So I was decorating Formula One cars and Formula One drivers at, wow. uh, <laughs> at uh, sort of rock concerts and, so, and uh, you know, racetracks, which was very cool. So I did that at the weekend <laughs> and worked for this music management company during oh, the week. That sounds then- exciting. It was so cool. I did a bit of modeling at the time too. And then I knew that I wanted to keep traveling. There was a lot of, a lot of world to see. So I sort of worked through that six months, saved my money and bought a around the world ticket. So I decided to go around the world for a year. Wow. So I, I packed a backpack, took off. My parents were horrified. Um, you know, they're very sort of regular normal beautiful family married to in love after 65 years you know very classic family um so i was definitely sort of doing something a little different so i uh, took off to so went out by the east back by the west um so out by singapore indonesia bali uh sydney australia perth uh, perth sydney then came back through la and um that was uh kind of cool because when I had um, finished my um, um, studying and I'd come back from America, I decided to take a summer in the south of France. And I'd gone to Monaco um, because my father had a business client or someone down there. And I ended up sleeping on his floor for a week and then getting a job at the Fairmont as a cocktail waitress. So this gave me my little Monaco sort of input. And I did meet a boy called um, Jean-Pierre. Um, <laughs> The and, romance in the midst of all of that. I know, I know. My first love, I think. Anyway, How so exciting. After, after I left Jean-Pierre at the train station when my contract ran out as a uh, cocktail uh, at the Fairmont Hotel, which was amazing. I've got a few stories to tell you about that. Oh, my. Um, that, that's when I took off on this sort of round-the-world trip. So I'd had this south of France sort of sprinkle, and then i go off around the world, which was amazing. And... Uh, Jean-Pierre had decided to go to America after he finished university. So as I'm coming back via the West, leaving Australia, coming back to, through America, back to England, oh, I might call Jean-Pierre. So I called Jean-Pierre 
arrived in LA, he, you know, me with my scruffy backpack, you know, long scruffy hair and baggy shorts and a yellow t-shirt. He very chic in his beautiful, um, look, look, sort of go the beautiful shoes, this little sexy pants and this sexy, <laughs> you know, and I arrived like, oh, you know, his little Gucci lopers were looking fantastic. But anyway, um, so then we sort of hit it off and, uh, and there I was in LA, but timing was wrong. I wasn't ready to settle down and he was still climbing the ladder. You know, he was doing, it's the American dream for him. He started at the bottom when he was climbing the ladder. So I left, came back to London, went to fashion college. Um, I had worked for a fashion company in Australia um, and got that fashion bug. So I came back, went to fashion college, just a two year course, more buying, merchandising, sort of psychology of fashion, um, loved it. Um, and then um, I also was always very, very much into sport, fitness from school age, always that gym, um, gym girl who was always running, doing something. So after um, my fashion, I worked for a fashion company for two years um, in Mayfair in London, um, designer clothes. We used to have fashion shows and all the buyers from all the boutiques around England used to come and buy from us. And then we would um, that was fantastic. So I did that for two years, then worked for a sports company for a year. So I loved the uh, the couture and also the sport, which then I decided I wanted to go back into my other passion. So, you know, I traveling, um, my fashion was a real passion and fitness was the other one. So I jumped into fitness, started working um, at this amazing gym and spa in London, uh, worked in their beauty department, uh, set that up for them. Um, and absolutely loved it. So then I thought to myself, well, you know, I need to put all these things together um, and create my own consultancy. So I went to the bank, <laughs> made a business plan. They gave me some money and I created Be Healthy, Be Beautiful, Be Stylish. Oh, and I, I love a, it. I put a little advert in the back of Vogue, the size of a stamp. Oh. Um, if people know what stamps are. Um, right. And... Um, <laughs> And I started working, uh, people, you know, a lady from um, a big uh, law firm contacted me and I used to go to her law firm. I used to exercise in the gym with her as her trainer. And then at weekends, I'd go to her house. I would do hair, skin, makeup. Um, uh, I went to do shopping for her, put everything on hold. She, you know, she'd tell me her schedule. So I had this consultancy. It was amazing. And then um, I decided to... We, I kept in touch with Jean-Pierre. Christmases, we used to have a little hello, how are you, happy Christmas. And then this year, we're talking, you know, a span about years had passed since my in Monaco and, you know, and meeting Jean-Pierre. And so he said, you know, he, by this he was um, in LA doing really well. He decided to meet for the weekend in New York. I flew uh, halfway, he flew LA. We met in the middle. We decided that we were going to make make a, a, a chance, make a change. We we're going to do it differently. And would I go to LA? So I said, well, you know, I've got to pay the bank back. I'll move to LA. So I moved to LA and um, then we got married and um, we, had oh an amazing, we had an amazing wedding. Um, I started, um, I got certified in LA uh, as a personal trainer um, with the ACE um, and you know, he was working for at a huge company. Um, it was a private dining club and country club. So, of course, all the ladies wanted to be, um, you know, working with the manager's wife, girlfriend. <laughs> yes. The um, so I was busy um, and different hats I was wearing every day. Sometimes I was um, training. Sometimes I was in their fridge, you know, pulling it apart and helping them get healthier food, giving them sort of diet plans. Sometimes I was working with them um, with their wardrobe. Sometimes it was hair, skin and makeup. Um, and it was I was in my zone, totally in my lane. It's who I am. Fantastic. Then we decided um, to buy a small house in Malibu, bought a small house. We had an amazing marriage, wedding at the country club. Everybody came from Europe, my family, his family. Um, you know, his family, had, some of them hadn't even been on a plane before. So they were flying from France. Wow. From the French Riviera and mine were flying from England. Had an amazing, um, an amazing wedding. A lovely house. Heidi gets pregnant. 
Um, and uh, within four years, I have two beautiful daughters. Oh my and goodness. My, my favorite thing in the whole wide world is being yeah. a mom. Yeah. So then um, I sort of concentrated on that. We're still doing some personal training in Malibu, um, either at the gym or at these beautiful homes with these amazing clients who had just gobsmacking drop dead homes. And we used to exercise on the beach and it was fabulous. Um, and then it, the children were about six and four. And we decided, you know, what do we want to do? Do we want to stay here away from our families or raise our children and put them in the you know European school system? So we finally decided to move back to Europe and neither of us were very keen on the idea, but we just thought it was the best thing at the, t at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and there were a few cracks in the dam uh, in the relationship. So I was you know, feeling a little bit sort of out of sorts. We moved back to Europe. Um, then uh, things got tough. Things got really tough then. Uh, communication broke down with my husband. He wasn't happy to be back in Europe. We wondered mm -hmm. if we'd done the right thing. Um, so I was just looking after my little children, my little girls, like, you know, mother hen. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, three more years passed uh, until I got to the place where um, I'm not, uh, I feel lost. Mm -hmm. I feel uh, unloved. I feel invisible. I feel frustrated. I feel underappreciated. Is this the life? Is this what I want for me and my girls? Um, and it took me a long time. My BS, my belief systems coming from the family background I came from, kept me stuck, mm -hmm. kept me stuck in my BS. My belief systems okay. and values kept me there. And that's that, that was what I was taught um, until the time when I decided that, um, you know, beliefs are given to me, beliefs are, you know, assimilated from your environment. And I decided that I had to take charge of my happy. I had to get back in the driver's seat of my life and stop giving my happy away for someone else to deal with. Um, but I'm remembering I had two little children. I'm in France, don't speak the language, no job, <laughs> no money. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, so, so that was when I really had to find that courage because believe me, that inner voice was telling me to sit still. And my parents, of course, flew over to help talk me off the ledge. Um, oh my goodness. So you had entered your own midlife, crossroads yourself right yes crossroads. That's so sort you, of you, you have an understanding of what a lot of women go through at that age okay. so we um will be we're going to take a quick commercial break and then yeah. uh we'll be back and i can't wait to hear the rest of heidi's exciting uh global jet story and this amazing life that she has had is just really amazing so we will be back right after the commercial break and we'll see you then this is steve matley join me every thursday at 3 p.m right here on kcaa for building solid foundations radio talk show i spent decades as a professional construction manager business owner real estate developer and a college educator and i enjoy learning new things from other people we talk a lot about real estate business and finance but we cover a diverse range of other topics as well some of the topics we've discussed in the past few months include real estate investing, leadership, higher education, ADUs, marketing using technology, multifamily rental properties, business strategy, entrepreneurship. You never know who may show up or what they may talk about. So join us right here on KCAA for Building Solid Foundations Radio. Real Men of Real Estate. Men of Real Estate Radio Show here on KCAA. Oats mortgages can be purchased. All of us want to live in thriving communities. Basically, go to the radio station, KCAARadio.com. You can find us on your dial at 102.3 FM, 1050 AM, as well as 106.5 FM. Fire Up Connect is the most innovative business networking group. Supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections. Hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. FireUp Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services, including inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing, video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e commerce solution, content writing, and much more. For more information, 
head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect, helping success stories unfold every day. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Talk Show. I'm your host, Sherry Marie Roverosa, here with our very special guest, Heidi Fasali. Welcome back again, Heidi. Thank you. We have heard some of your background story, which is an amazing and very exciting life that you've had. Um, and then it came to some difficulty and you came to your own midlife Christ crossroads. And now could you share with us from that point uh, what you did? Yes. So um, that was the big, the big, the big change. And remembering that I was um, not in my own country um, without the, without speaking the language, no family. Uh, I had two beautiful little girls who were looking to me for comfort and, and, and confidence, you know? Um, and so it was very, very, very difficult. And I had my parents telling me, you know, this is a, this is a terrible idea. And, um, so all the odds were against me. So I had to really dig deep. It was very scary. Um, I couldn't work here cause I didn't speak the language. So there were many things that, but again, you know, I just, I, I couldn't settle. And that's what sort of how I, I didn't want to compromise. And I knew I wouldn't reach my potential as this, as it was, or I would have the life I wanted or for my children, the life I want for my children either. So I ended up, I did, I did uh, say it and I did separate. And then on my own, you know, going into the unknown on my own was very scary. Um, and, you know, I was uh, winging it and yeah, it was tough. It was tough um, and totally transformative really, because um, at the time I was just, I mean, I was trying to find an anchor you know, I'd find myself on my knees praying, I'd find myself, you know, waking up in a sweat, you know, with this sort of fear, um, without a roadmap, you know, not knowing what I was going to do. But what I did, which um, uh, I just decided, you know, what I was good at, what were, what was my skill set, who, you know, who was I, and what did I love to do, what were my qualities. So that's where I went back. Of course, I was really good at hair, skin, makeup, fitness, and um, making people feel look good. Heck yeah, I was good at that. So, you know, and I think that back. many women, um, so many women, go through those emotions that you went through, right? They um, they yeah, they yeah. forget who they are because they've spent all their time taking care of others, which is a, a great thing to do, but. It's hard to have that balance of keeping your own um, your own identity while you're helping others, yeah. which is one of the reasons I really believe in self-care, taking that time to really care for yourself. But that's not a real common thing, although it's it's getting more common now, which which I'm glad about. Yeah, you know, self-care is not selfish. And you know, you, right. you get you get to those middle years and you sort of you spent 20 or 30 years doing everything by the book, you know, what everyone mm -hmm. expects you to do. And you love doing it. I love yes. being a mother. Loved yes. it. Mm -hmm. But you suddenly, you know, you've forgotten, you sort of, you, you weigh down your to-do list, um, you know, and you've forgotten sort of who you are. It's really yes. who you are. Yes. So, so I went out, I started doing what I did best um, and things started happening, um, you know, and I found myself, you know, in Saint-Tropez in some fabulous the house creating this amazing party and these you know making women look beautiful and and at night I'd be sweating because I couldn't pay my rent you know mm -hmm. what I mean but there yeah. was this tricky juxtaposition of you know this the reality of my life and this world I was in um, because of the nature of where I I live you know the French Riviera we'd come back from LA to here um, so I you know suddenly I found myself on a tv show and again um, you know, it, it was fantastic. Um, but again, it was always at this at the cost of me trying to hustle and keep the, the balls in the air and making sure my girls at all times were great um, and, and cared for and nurtured. Um, and they had structure, which was something that I was very, very careful with. Yes. So 
that's that's sort of how I got to um, that uh, sort of lifestyle here. And I always knew that I was showing up shiny on the outside. I always knew that I could do it well and make people feel good. And I always made sure I looked good with the health and the makeup. And, but somewhere I kind of thought there might be a little bit more to Heidi than this. And it was only about six years ago when I discovered life coaching. Um, and uh, uh, someone who I knew was a life coach. Suddenly I started inquiring, researching, and then I started studying and um, reading. And um, that was this deep dive into sort of self-discovery that had always been sitting on the surface of Heidi. Yes. And there was a whole new Heidi underneath. That How exciting, right? It was so crazy good. And it all made sense because as I was unpacking how I'd got to where I am, all that, who was I, you know, what was holding me back? Um, what do I want? And how was I going to get there? That was my coaching. And that's sort of what took me 10 years to figure out. So yeah. that's why I've created the eight step life reboot, which is one of my um, amazing programs where I work with women and the eight steps are oh, there's eight steps that I have created and I took. The first four are all on the inside. Like I said, who are you? Connect with the woman you left behind. Yes. What's holding you back? Comfort zone, not enough, fear of judgment. Um, you know, it's those things we all, you know, we're frightened. We, yes. We've got to give ourselves. We've got to let go of a story we're telling ourselves. Um, so that holding you back. I mean, I, my holding back was lots of belief systems um, and not enough thinking that, that I couldn't do it on my own. You know, I wasn't enough. And then the, the fourth step of the uh, eight steps is let's create the stepping stones. Let's get you to your goal, let's get you to the life that you design and you certainly deserve. So that's the first four steps. The second, the, the five, six, seven, and eight, I had in my pocket, that was nutrition, what to eat, to feed your body, to feed your skin, to, you know, give you the energy you need. Um, so that's the food bit. Then the fitness, I've been doing that since I was six. That was easy. I've been a personal trainer for 30 plus years. Wow. Um, and, then the, and then the beauty, done that, knew as a makeup artist, I knew how to look after skin, hair, makeup. So then the outside, final, the final step eight is the wardrobe. And I've done that at fashion school. So I'd realized that I had this skill set and this expertise, these eight steps, four on the inside, and four on the outside and transformation is absolutely inside and outside. It's not just one or the other. So I created this one-stop shop life reboot, um, which is who I am. It's I walk my walk, I talk my talk, I've lived it. Um, and I've traveled around the world, um, engaged in it and getting masses of experience, knowledge, know-how, tips, techniques, and um, really solid uh, compassion for women who do get to these middle years. Yes. We're all in together, you know? I've just got the flashlight. I'm only a couple of steps ahead of you. Come, follow me, I've got it, you know? That's I love that. I, I love the message that you have and the story. And, you know, your background story is so powerful so that women who work with you, they know that, you can relate to them. You know exactly what they're going through. Totally. And you've stepped through these doors before. You've felt the emotions that they're feeling. And that can be very powerful as a coach to really be able to reach women's hearts, to help them to find healing, then to help them to find the confidence, to decide who they want to be from that point forward. Um, to help them to create a new self-image um, and to do the inner work uh, in their mind, in their heart, the healing, and then to do the outer work, getting as fit as possible so that they feel beautiful and confident to go forward in this new season of their life. And I'm just so excited about what you're doing, Heidi, and how you're using your life experience 
to help other women to find the success that you found. It's very honorable for you to spend your life doing that. So I, I thank you for that. The life you live are the lessons you teach in my mind, you know. Yes. Yes, that's so true. And I love your philosophy about how um, how we feel on the inside shows on the outside and then how we uh, dress and how we look on the outside, it affects our inside. And I okay. know that being a coach, you you know all about um, enclosed cognition, yes. right? Yes, that says whatever we are enclosed in affects our cognition and affects how we feel, how we think and how we act. So teaching women to be able to uh, find their own style and how to do that and look and feel beautiful is so important to um, their cognition, how they how they think, how they feel, and how they act, which affects the rest of their life. So that can be very, very powerful for women. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's how you want to show up. Yeah, the yes. second act, your second act is is important, and we lose we lose track. And we lose um, traction um, and we're fearful of that void ahead called our second act. Yes. Um, and I think we've got to step out onto that stage um, and, you know, reclaim and just get back behind the steering wheel of your life. You know, fear is always going to be there, but kick it into the back seat. Mm -hmm. Kick it into the back seat. She's always going to be there, but just head towards happy, purposeful, fulfilled, joyful, you know, peaceful. Um, and all you have to do is connect your passions, your strengths, your passions equals purpose. You just decide what you're good at and how you can share it with the world. And then you, you that's happy. That's all you have to do. Yes, you can make some money if you want to start a business. And believe me, quite a few of my clients have come to me and said, you know, I really like, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to put my own flower shop. Let's do it. Yes. And that's what they want, you know, or I want to go back to work. Or, you know, the, there's, there's a lot of fear, you know, the fear of being alone, fear of, of losing their health, fear of, um, you know, is this it? I'm halfway now, what? But on the flip of that is, let's write down the, the next phase. Let's, what do you want? Yes. I've always confused with that question because you don't, you've never been asked before. Right. Um, and it's a really hard one to answer. Yes. But I think keep at it and they suddenly open up and that they radiate that joy and suddenly they tell me what they want yes and then you step in and, and help them create that which is yes. it's just wonderful yes. so exciting well we are going to go to another commercial break now and when we get back we're going to hear all about Heidi's best-selling book from Frightened to Fabulous, and about some special offers that she has for our listeners. So be sure to tune back in. We'll see you then. Real Men of Real Estate. Men of Real Estate radio show here on KCAA. Oats mortgages can be purchased. All of us want to live in thriving communities. Basically go to the radio station KCAARadio.com. You can find us on your dial at 102.3 FM, 1050 AM, as well as 106.5 FM. Fire Up Connect is the most innovative business networking group. Supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections. Hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. Fire Up Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect, helping success stories unfold every day. This is Steve Matley. Join me every Thursday at 3 p.m. right here on KCAA for Building Solid Foundations Radio Talk Show. I spent decades as a professional construction manager, business owner, real estate developer, and a college educator, and I enjoy learning new things from other people. We talk a lot about real estate business and finance, but we cover a diverse range of other topics as well. 
Some of the topics we've discussed in the past few months include real estate investing, leadership, higher education, ADUs, marketing using technology, multifamily rental property, business strategy, entrepreneurship. You never know who may show up or what they may talk about. So join us right here on KCAA for Building Solid Foundations Radio. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Talk Show. I'm your host, Sherry Marie Roberosa, here with our very special guest, Heidi Fasali. Welcome back again, Heidi. Great to be here, Sherry. So we have thoroughly enjoyed hearing about your very exciting life and adventures all over the globe. So much experience you have and um, how you're putting that into a program to be able to help other women to find success uh, at their midlife crossroads in their life. And I just think that's so wonderful. And I know you're going to be able to change many women's lives through your work. Uh, also, we know that you have a best-selling book called From Fri Frightened to Fabulous. And could you tell us about that? Yes, um, I decided that um, I needed to, needed I think was the right word, to sort of put some clarity and also sort of to, to burst a bubble. I think people had got the, or get the wrong impression. They see me on social media, they meet me, and I wanted to, to clarify the story. I wanted people to understand that it wasn't just a shiny surface. There was a messy midlife moment <laughs> in there. And that um, I kind of felt quite proud of myself, to be honest. I felt proud that I had made that huge transition with the odds against me. You know, luckily, um, angels appeared. Uh, people helped me when I asked. I mean, that was hard to ask for help. Yes. Um, but and you were in a foreign helped. country, right? And you didn't know the language even. Yes. No, and that no. was that was France, right? In France? Yes. In wow. South of France. My whole family are in England um, and I'd left um, America. Yeah. So it was, it was a bit of a, a it was cathartic for me too. I, I wanted to write my story down. I'd written lots of blogs on social media. People had interviewed me, but I'd never actually got my story down. The highs as well as the lows. It's not a, you know, it's not a sob story, but it's the truth. And mm -hmm. I wanted to have uh, sort of a, a way of putting it all down for me my children but not really more about clarifying what happened and then giving these amazing um eight steps that i'd created i needed to share them yeah. I, and i was working with clients privately i had group online programs um but i wanted to put it down in paper because that's a nice entry level for someone who's feeling a little bit cautious not very confident they see Heidi's a bit shiny and got her makeup on and blow dried her hair. I'm a bit scary to people sometimes. So this book was a very nice entry level. Uh, let me get to know her. Oh, and then they come back and want more and more and more. And then I can really change their lives or yeah. help them, support them to change whatever needs changing, basically. Yes. So the book is... It's they felt the like they could book. relate to you now, right? There, yes. There's something that you can understand. So the first half of the book is the story. Um, I touched on it at the beginning of this interview. And then the second half is the coaching questions, structure, strategies, everything that I coach someone on. I've taken the best bits and put them in. And they can fill in the book and the questions inside the book. So they've got their own little notepad and they can just fill it all in. Nice. So it's more like a, it's a workbook also, correct? Ah, that's great. It's an action guide. Yeah. They can actually, sometimes by writing it down, it so helps, you know, what are you good at? It's very difficult to say to, but when you've got time to write it, sometimes yes. it's easier. So yeah. that's the reason I wrote the book. It's just hit a, hits a, a, a note. It just, it went top uh it went number one in five um uh sort of departments on amazon so it became a bestseller and i feel very proud of myself actually and i love the fact that people are reading it five categories in amazon number one bestseller that is so amazing congratulations that's quite an achievement thank heidi you. i'm just i'm so proud of you and i'm so excited thank you 
Now, in your book, uh, or I, I guess additional to your book, you have a program, right, that you offer? Yes, it's all about the eight steps, whether you read them in the book or there's an online okay. program. Um, the eight steps um, are uh, four on the inside, four on the outside, one-stop shop, everything, you know, everything all in one. That's sort of what makes me a little bit different to everybody else. No one else is doing in and out in yes. one one the complete pack. woman you're you're addressing the complete woman so like yes, a total yes. life transformation right very powerful that's very yes. very powerful and exciting so for someone who gets your online program what is that like are those videos um how um, do you do well the um i do have an evergreen program that is videos it's um, take it at your own pace I've got lots of downloads. I've got uh, workout videos that come with it. I've got recipes. I've got makeup tutorials. So you can do everything and answer the questions and, you know, understand. Understand your values and your beliefs. And it's all there at your wow. own pace. Wow. Eight modules, off you go. But I also have a 12-week program where I am with you. Twice a month, you do, the, you do your work on your own and then we get on Zoom and you also have one-to-one -one coaching with me as well. So that's um, much more detailed. And I have a lot of international women doing that course because of course I can't be everywhere at the same time, but at least Zoom, they get a little bit, um, they get more more attention. I can um, mm -hmm. understand more. And often in the group, one question, actually, everyone's thinking the same thing. We're yes. all, we've all got, so it's coaching for everyone. We have a hot seat. So people can just come to me with a specific thing. Okay. And the third level, which is my VIP, is that um, I go to my client's home. They fly me to wherever they are. And wow. I spend an intense four days, um, wow. four nights, five days. And then when I leave, um, I do 12 coaching sessions online. From I go back home and with them so that I can keep them accountable. If something needs updating, if they've got an event and they need me help with the wardrobe, I can do it online on video. Their workout <laughs> needs to be upgraded. They, uh, you know, they need to, you know, specific exercises or diet plans or you know i need some sort of um sort of evening makeup can you just help me upgrade my makeup from day to night mm -hmm. so we do everything when we're together and then i step away and we have 12 sessions at a distance to keep to keep the magic happening wow that is amazing um i love that that you have three different levels for um different people you know the um financial investment that they can and would like to make, probably the different levels on that, and then different levels of time commitment. And then if they really want to work with you one-on-one -on -one, to be able to have you come to their home all over the world, that's just fabulous. And I, I really haven't heard of too many other people offering that where they will literally come to your home. That's that's really, really exciting. So I, I think you're going to do amazing things in women's lives with your program, Heidi. Um, yes, it's so exciting to hear about. And did you say that you may have a gift for my listeners today? Yes, yes, yes. I want the word to get out there. And I want to gift anyone who is listening to this, um, listening or watching this, a free copy of my book. So I will give the link to my friend Sherry and she will add it to the notes and please download it and get your free copy. It will come to you and enjoy, read and feel fabulous. Thank you so much for that offer. That is quite an exciting offer. You're offering my ladies a free copy of your best-selling book and it was best-selling in five categories. The title is From Frightened to Fabulous by Heidi Baselli. And it's an amazing book of her story and her journey. 
and how she's gotten to where she is now, a very beautiful, successful lady who has gone through the midlife crossroads and is on the other side living a happy, successful life. So we just thank you for that free gift, Heidi, and I hope that everyone will take advantage of that. And I'm so excited to hear about the future and what you do and how everything goes. I know that you are gonna be used in a very powerful way to help so many women. And thank you for uh, coming on here today and sharing your heart with us. It was a true blessing to hear everything. I loved it. And anyone who wants to follow me on social media can do on Facebook, uh, my name, Heidi Fasali. Same, my name is on Instagram. I'm on LinkedIn, everything just under my name. So please. Can you can um, you spell that for us? Yeah, Heidi is H-E-I-D-I. -E and my last name, Fasali, is F for Frank, O-S-S-A-L-I. -S so go Wonderful. find me on, on yeah, and I will see you there. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Have a great Love day. Thank you. you too. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you to all our listeners for um, tuning in today and hearing from our very special guest. And I hope that you will take advantage of that offer for her free book. Uh, that's a wonderful gift. And I want you all to remember that you were born for such a time as this. Use your life to help the world and to do good. And we thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. KCAA is your CNBC News.